Hey guys, Sean here from the tour guide. I'm in Rome, Italy. Some of you may be visiting Rome or planning a trip. So, I'm gonna explain to you how to see Pompeii in a day from Rome, as well as Sorrento. Have you ever wondered what life in ancient Rome was like? The preserved city of Pompeii is the perfect venue. When Mount Vesuvius erupted in 79 AD, Pompeii was a lively town of around 11,000 people with bustling markets, taverns, and a 20,000 seat amphitheater. On that fateful day, the city was forever preserved in volcanic ash as a spectacle of history. Pompeii is the region of Campania, almost 250 kilometers, that's like 150 miles away from Rome. 25 kilometers from Naples, it's like 15 miles, and 40 kilometers from the Amalfi Coast, which is like 25 miles. If you're traveling from Rome, you can begin your journey as a plebeian or a patrician. As a plebeian, you would take the train from Rome to Naples. As a patrician, you'd want to venture to Naples by means of private transportation with air conditioning. Don't worry, we offer day trips where you don't have to pay through the roof to experience things as nice as the patricians would experience. By train. The high-speed train from Rome and Naples runs every 20 minutes. You can take the train from Roma Termini Station to Napoli Centrale is just over an hour and a half. From Napoli Centrale, you can switch to the local train to Pompeii. Take the train towards Sorrento and you will arrive at Pompeii Scavi, Villa di Misteri Station. After about 40 minutes, the station is only a matter of feet from the entrance of the archaeological area. Private transportation, two hours and 30 minutes of driving. The transit time is the same, but by car, you don't have to worry about transferring from one train to another in the train station. It's also more relaxing than trying to navigate two busy train stations in a foreign country. The train from Rome to Naples is pretty nice, but the train from Naples to Pompeii is a regional train and can be uncomfortable in the hot summer when it's crowded. A great way to see Pompeii is on a day trip. This trip includes round trip transportation from Rome, a two hour tour of Pompeii, as well as a visit to Sorrento. If you happen to be staying on the Amalfi Coast the next leg of your trip, you can even book private transportation with us from Sorrento to your final destination on the Amalfi Coast, which is pretty cool and combine two tours in one. If you have just a day and you're traveling from Rome, we recommend skipping the Amalfi Coast for Sorrento. It will give you a taste for the coastline without the extra transit time. Mount Vesuvius is a stratovolcano, most famous for its eruption in 79 AD, which destroyed the cities of Pompeii and Herculaneum. In the last 17,000 years, the volcano has erupted in eight major eruptions. The eruption in 79 AD killed more than 16,000 people, spewing lava and ash over local towns. Before entering inside the archaeological site, take a moment to visit the Virgin of Rosary Shrine of Pompeii. Every year on the 8th of May, all the pilgrims come to this church and they pray asking for favors of Our Lady of Pompeii. From the train station, the entrance to the archaeological site is about a two-minute walk. Pretty easy. We recommend to book your ticket in advance in order to skip the lines. Taking a guided tour or getting a guidebook will greatly help you explore the ancient city. You can be weeks exploring this beautiful city. A local tour guide is the best way to fully experience Pompeii and optimize the time. Though the old grid is intact, the street signs are not modernized, making it easy to get lost without a map. On the grounds of the ancient ruins, you should make a point to see the following sites. The Forum of Pompeii. Just like the Roman Forum, the Forum of Pompeii was a center of activity and commerce in town. It is where you will find the city's major temples, the temples of Venus, Apollo, and Jupiter. You will also find the Grand Forum Baths there. Pompeii's Baths. One common misconception is all ancient peoples were dirty and rarely bathed. In many cases this is true, but the ancient Romans were not this way. Though only the very rich could afford the private baths, the public baths were for people of all social statuses. The area was divided into men's and women's sections. It included the three rooms of the ancient Roman baths, the Tebitarium, warm bath, Caldarium, hot bath, and Frigidarium, cold bath. Classically, one would bathe in each room in that order. Pompeii's brothel. The world's oldest profession has its place in ancient Rome. And the most evident example of this in Pompeii can be found in this building, consisting of many small rooms with beds. The building is also covered with fascinating, explicit images of the actions taking place at the brothel. Amphitheater. 
the oldest known building of its kind, the Amphitheater of Pompeii held 20,000 people and was the host of gladiator games and large spectacles just at the Colosseum in Rome. The stone structure is a great example of large functioning society in ancient towns. The large theater. The amphitheater was not only the center of entertainment in Pompeii, the large theater held about 5,000 people and hosted its own share of shows and ancient entertainment. Gladiator Barracks. Also used for rain delays, the large theater, the Gladiator Barracks is for those who have trained for gladiator matches at the amphitheater. The Preserved Plaster Casts. A rotating exhibit around Pompeii, these casts were created during the excavations of the ruins. This display of casts is amazing. Literally people in the positions they were in when Pompeii erupted and the entire town was covered in ash. There are so many things to see. If you want something to eat, behind the Temple of Jupiter there is a refreshment point. Remember that you cannot eat outside the designated areas. While you're doing that, take a moment to like this video or subscribe to our channel so you get all of our content as soon as it comes out. Best time to visit Pompeii is in early spring or late fall due to the extremely hot weather. It can arrive up to 100 degrees Fahrenheit or 40 degrees Celsius. It's very, very hot. Many of you have to travel because your kids are out of school in July and August and it's still worth the trip. Just a little more enjoyable when it's cool outside. Sorrento, 30 minutes by train or one hour driving. If you get private transportation, you won't have to wait for the train in Pompeii, which is nice. That, and in the summer, crowds of people from Naples will be rushing to Sorrento, crowding the train, excited to get on the beaches. Located in the cliffs of southwestern coast of Italy and overlooking the Bay of Naples, Sorrento is home to many breathtaking views and relaxing sights. After your time in Pompeii, we recommend you get right back on the Circumvesuviana to Sorrento and enjoy a spritz overlooking the immaculate Bay of Naples. It's also great to get a taste of the flavors of Italian cuisine. The Gulf of Naples is beautiful. It's amazing. Very, very nice stretch of land that offers gorgeous panoramic views of Italy's coast and a glimpse into the tragic history of the city of Pompeii. Legend has that sirens sat and sang on the beaches to distract all who passed through the marina, making it impossible for travelers to leave. Now Sorrento is most famous for limoncello and ceramics, woodwork, and even furniture. So that's it. If you like this video, click the like button. If you love the video, click the subscribe button. That way you get more video love from us in the future. If you have any questions, comment them below. Like maybe this information or you have a unanswered question or something wasn't clear, just comment that below. We'll answer it very quickly. You'd be surprised, like within a day even sometimes. Um, also, if you have any like future topics you want us to cover, we love suggestions and we're always looking to add things to our list. We film all the time. So. I'm like pointing to where I think it is on the screen, but it probably is like on the other side over here. Like, subscribe, but it's really over there. Pancha <laughs> means belly in Italian. Pancha. And thank you.